Hi, I'm Sophia Stepanoff, and I'm interviewing the AP Environmental Science class, which is short for or is APES. And uh, we're going to start off here with Drew. I'm um, Drew Lorenz. I'm Julia Colano. I'm Ben Schrager. I'm Dory Oslander. I'm Sydney Hamilton. And our first question is, um, what AP classes did you take? Um, I took APES, AP Environmental Science, and I also took AP Gov. I took Environmental Science, AP Gov, and AP Calculus. I just took AP Environmental Science. I took AP Environmental Science and AP Calculus. Uh, I took APES and AP STAT. All right, and um, how can you apply what you learned in uh, APES to real life? Well, uh, recently in our community, I don't know if you guys heard about it, but uh, they're trying to put in a pipeline. And before APES, I didn't really know much about uh, the effects of the, the pipeline would have on our environment. But uh, after we discussed it in class, we learned the uh, environmental factors that such a pipeline would uh, impose on our environment. And uh, it's just like little things like that. We now like know the true effects of humans and selfish companies that are uh, ruining the environment. Yeah, it's little things um, like global warming and um, also just stuff that you can do in your everyday lives just to help the environment. Um, that truly had an impact on me and um, what Ms. Sherwin taught us. Also, in the beginning of the year, we did, we found like our global footprint, so we knew how we individually were affecting the world. And I think it's really important to know that this class isn't just about taking the AP test, but it's also about knowing how to take the things we learned and apply it in a real life situation. What do you do in a typical class? So there's two periods um, of APES. Um, so you'll have, you won't have two full periods, but sometimes you'll have um, half the period of study hall and then half the period of apes and then the full rest of the other period. So that kind of gives you a lot more time and it's really important. I miss Sherwin does a really good job of this. It's super important to keep the class fun and um, really entertaining and Miss Sherwin just really makes us laugh and have a good time. So. And like any other AP class, we do have to take notes, but a lot of the time after taking notes, we'll do a project or make a poster about what we're doing just to keep it fun and to make sure everybody's interested constantly. I also think it's super important that, like Ben said, we take PowerPoints in our lectures, but it's something different every day. Never do we do the same thing over and over again. It's always like a notes packet, and then the next day we'll do a fun lab, and then the next day we'll go out and like spend time like actually in the forest, um, in the local forest or the local streams, so that was really cool. Yeah, it's very hands-on. How were you able to become APE students? Um, so, to become an APE student, um, you have to get either a 90 or above in your freshman bio class or your sophomore chemistry class, and um, then you have to get teacher recommendations to let you come into AP Environmental Science, um, and basically you ask your guidance counselor to come in. Sometimes the spots are limited, but if you can get in, it's a really awesome class. And make sure you sign up on time because it's a very popular class. I know a lot of people who didn't sign up in time weren't able to take it, but it's an awesome class, so make sure you sign up right on time and you'll get into the class. Uh, what makes your class stand out? Like what makes people want to sign up for it? Uh, day in and day out, we do different things. We do labs. Um, I feel like every day is something new, and it keeps it really interesting, as they were all uh, said before. Um, I don't know, personally, I like, look forward to coming to the class every day, which I think is really important, considering it's a two-lab period, so we're there every day of the week. I think it stands out because um, not only are we learning about things that are going on locally, but also worldwide. So we're learning about other countries and this nation and poverty and things that everything, how the world is connected and how everything we do affects everything around us. And did you guys go on any field trips this year? Yes, uh, a couple weeks ago we went to a field trip to three different creeks and two different lakes in Hopewell and we got into the creeks and picked out some of the bugs and the animals in there and we identified the chemicals that were in the creeks and we had the goal of the experiment was to identify which creek was the cleanest and through all of our apes knowledge we were able to figure out which one actually was the best creek. And even though that was our only like real field trip 
we still go outside like to the Timberlane Forest and the high school forest to do labs. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite lab that you did this year? What was your favorite lab that you did this year? Um, I really enjoyed, um, we did this one lab where uh, it was about a week or two week lab and we went into, again, the Timberlane and High School Forest and we looked at the succession of the forest and um, we took down a bunch of notes and observed a bunch of things in the forest and again used our apes knowledge to really understand um, which forest was the most succeeded. My favorite lab was the uh, pill bug lab. So we had to collect little pill bugs and then we experimented with them, how they'd react to different being in different colors, different temperatures, different amount of light. And then my favorite was when we learned about invasive species and we learned about the invasive Japanese honeysuckle and we went into the different forests and saw how they were taking over and took notes on that and tried to help the forests. I think one of my favorites was the cookie mining lab where we had to um, try and make a real life example of what mining and um, how it affects the environment around it. So we had to like crack into a cookie and try and get all the chocolate chips out and then try and collect all the debris which um, would like really symbolize how um, in the mining it disperses and you can't always collect um, the pollution. Uh, my favorite lab would have to be the solar oven lab, which we're actually working on now. Basically, we're using the sun's energy, like the powerful rays, and we're heating up different foods like chocolate and other things, just using the sun's energy. So it's pretty cool. Where do you guys plan on going to school? Uh, next year, I'm going to the University of Miami in Florida. I'm going to Fairfield University. I'm going to Rice University. I'm going to Dickinson College. I'm going to the College of New Jersey. And what do you guys plan on studying there? Uh, finance, this is a business school. I'm going to School of Nursing. I'm studying Sport Management. I'm an Education major. I'm an Urban Elementary Education major. Uh, would you recommend this AP class to other students? Uh, without a doubt. Yeah, um, definitely. 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 Ms. Sherwin really made an impact on, I know, all of our lives yeah. and really made the class super fun. And mm -hmm. I know she's one of the closest teachers that I have this year. So I'd really recommend both the class and having getting to have Ms. Sherwin as a teacher. What was the like, specific favorite memory of this class? Uh, I'd say all the laughs we have. It's actually like a really fun class. Uh, <laughs> Like, I don't know, we're always laughing. Ms. Sherwin has a great personality. Um, yeah, it's just a fun class. She kind of fosters us being such a close-knit group, so my highlight was a field trip because we really got to spend time outside the classroom with all these great friends that I've made this year. Yeah, it was also nice having um, just one apes class and seeing those people every day because we really, I mean, people that I'm usually not hanging out with I hang out a lot more with and you just really get to know your whole class and your teacher. So.